notice how Howard really makes the worst allegations as a question and then gets Thornton to reveal what he wants to say. Just on the sides. First time you walked in the bathroom and saw him without any hair on, did you go, ooh? You know who's talking about? <laughs> who's that? Who's that Liberace's bathroom? Liberace. But you knew he wore a wig. I mean, it was pretty No, hot. I didn't know. Didn't, it was I that didn't good, know. huh? Oh, yeah, he, he spent <laughs> thousands and thousands on them. So when you meet Michael Jackson, uh -huh. I mean, Michael Jackson would, would sue someone on protest if they ever called him gay. As far as, he, right. as his public persona was, listen, uh, I, uh, I'm in love with women. I married Lisa Marie, uh, whatever her name was. Or, or, didn't he, he marry somebody? He's yeah. one of the Presley. Lisa, Lisa Marie. Yeah, yeah, Lisa Marie. That, that was just a big publicity. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Michael and I met in about 77. We were good friends. Then when I broke up with Lee in 82, yeah. Michael asked if I would join him. Okay, that's right when you he never was... Fucked, uh, I mean, you never fucked around with Michael Jackson when before? You, before when you were with Liberace? I can't tell you that. Why? <laughs> no, Why? Well, yeah, we did. Yeah, you we did. did. You did. So you were cheating on Liberace a little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Because what? You were so attracted to Michael? Well, Michael is my age. Right. You know, we got along great. Lee was 48 years my senior. Come did, on. Did 48? Michael, 48, 48 wow. years, yeah. Did Michael have a strange penis in that it had, like, what did he have? Vitiligo on Vitiligo. his penis? Vitiligo. <laughs> it was little. How little was it? I mean, you know, roughly. Well, it was a lot a little. <laughs> I can't. I shouldn't say this. I don't know. About six, seven, I guess. Oh, six inches is small. Oh, that's a seven. small penis thing? Wait a second. That's only an inch difference from you. Uh, no, I'm nine. Oh, you're nine. <laughs> I'm nine. When a guy that's is. Uh, listen, when, when, I'm, when a guy is six or seven inches. When a guy is six or seven inches. Yeah. That's considered small to you? I think so. I'm doomed. Listen, I'm a size. I'm a size. <laughs> you queen. better not be gotta a have boober. eight or nine. <laughs> right. Boy, did you blow and Michael I, Jackson? Huh? Did you blow Michael Jackson? Yeah. You did. Were you like, wow, I can't believe I'm blowing Michael Jackson? I mean, <laughs> and really? did he keep that high voice when you were? He's probably like, yeah. oh, I'm going to tell you something about Michael. <laughs> Michael was the greatest. He's the greatest kid. It was very sad what happened to him. Um, Michael and I really got along great. I, he just was breaking up for the Jacksons. We started the thriller. Then we went to... Was his to, face already you know, very cosmetically no, altered? No, I started no. that. No. Oh. See, Liberace and I had our... Uh, I had my surgery done, then Liberace... And then Michael had the nose job. He had a little nose job done. Not too severe. Right. Now, you got to see this. All three of us are in bandage, okay? Going down, <laughs> putting uh, in, in the Liberace Rolls Royce, going to Palm Springs to his house. You all, all had surgery at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> you, Michael Jackson. Michael and Jackson. why did you leave that out of the story, of, of the, the Candelabra story? Well, I don't know if I left it out. I, I, I don't they think they... just didn't put it I, in. They probably didn't put it in. Yeah. So when you got your facial surgery with Liberace, Michael Jackson was there with you convalescing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so that's how th the three of you were that tight. Yeah. And it was when he first started his surgeries. Ex exactly. Right. And then he got the addiction... Right. To the pain pills and all. Michael was a great kid. Listen, I think. It, Did Liberace well, ever do Michael Jackson? No. no Never. Michael no. was not attracted to him. No. <laughs> what do you do? You I think went to that... Europe. I went to England with him when he did say say with Paul McCartney and all that. We traveled all over. What about you know through Michael Jackson's entire life? There were allegations that he had sex with young boys. I mean, not, not true. Them, not true. You don't think any of it was true? You think he was an innocent? That Let one. me tell you something. The an uncle, innocent. The, the, the uncle of the kid there was paid 20, Michael had to pay him $20 million for the simple reason Michael didn't want publicity. Right. It was paid off. This guy, and Michael's not that one. You never show Michael with a young know, Never. How Michael, did you keep it a secret? How did Michael Jackson keep it a secret? You were carrying on a full-blown affair with this guy, Michael Jackson, for six years. Were you living with him at all? Well, when Thriller got really big, that's when we broke up and we were seeing each other because of the management and Bill Bray, his security guy, thought it would be best that... You know, we don't do this. Now, I want to tell you one thing, Howard. <clears throat> in 2004, when I broke this story, I had to pass two lie detector tests. Did you I pass them? Passed all of them, yeah. They they even offered Michael one. Michael refused it. Uh, the family, they wanted, I mean, we heard from Michael's attorneys. They said, well, come on, come on, come at me. So you, you, you admitted then that you were with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Why did you do that? Why did you betray him and uh, tell the world that you were, you know, having an affair with him? 
it's my life. It's right. my life story. You know, I was putting together my book, and and uh, it's, it's it's a part of it. I'm telling the truth. You know? and, and and when you were with Michael Jackson, were you not bowled over? Did you actually see him record at any time? Did you actually? I was it? in the recording studios with him. What about when uh, with Paul McCartney when he recorded? I was uh, there with. I, I was say say. You were there. Say say uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was in England when. Yeah. And so you were you in love with Michael Jackson? I would say. Yeah, as a friend, I, I, as a lover, no. He was I a mean, bad lover. Well, no, it wasn't that. Michael, Michael's a great kid. He really is, but was he had he a lot a self- of problems. Was he a selfish lover? No, very generous. So then why weren't you in love with the guy? Because mm. he was a kook? How could you top Liberace? You were still in love with Liberace. Yeah. I haven't had a lover Who's since Who's better then. in bed, Michael or Liberace? And, what, uh, and why? Neither one of them. Why? But you loved Lee. I know... Exactly, I loved Lee, but I, I what do you mean, mean? Neither one of them were good in bed. Why was Michael bad in bed? What do you? He was just boring. I mean, I, I, what was the love making like? Would you, would, was he? Did he want to be very playful, like Peter Pan, or some mm. kind of role play? Did he ever come out like a Peter Pan outfit? No, I'm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, was he into anything weird? <laughs> no. Did he ever dress like a woman? But I'll tell you, with did Liberace, he ever dress like a woman? The, the, no. But for the first, the first night that I, I slept with Liberace, I thought it was so strange. He's in his full stage makeup. Liberace, you know, yeah. Liberace and the rhinestones. And, <laughs> Hi, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to look pretty for you. Yeah. Well, look me over. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great guy. And know. then when, you know, because he was so old, <laughs> when he got naked the first time. Oh. Uh, well, uh, actually. Uh, what do you mean, oh? <laughs> what was <laughs> under all those feathers? Yeah. <laughs> actually, he, was, he wasn't a bad looking guy. He had a great body. He was very he stocky, did? big barrel chest, except for his cock, you know? Yeah, it was a disappointment. When he took his pants off, he went, oh, no. Uh, yeah, well, what and what do? about Michael Jackson's body? Michael had, well, Michael was very thin. You know. Dancer type body. Dancer, swimmer type, yeah. He seems to me like a guy who would want to dress like a woman, you know what I mean, in bed? Yeah. Or, or pretend to be a girl. Oh, well. Did he? You know something? Michael used to be so good looking. I have pictures of me and Michael together. Yes. When Michael was black. <laughs> yes, right. Uh-huh. And, um, he and, ruined his looks. Well, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I was in prison when he died. Right. In, in 2010. Oh, no, 2009 he died. But six years you were with him. Yeah. And, and when the first time Michael Jackson says, let's make love, <laughs> is that how it goes? or is it? No, Michael, let me tell you, when, when, when you get to know Michael, he's, he's a totally different person. I mean, he's fun. He's lovely. I'll tell you a funny story. Yeah. We were outside of Buckingham Palace, and you know how the guards they all stand at move, attention. Yeah. yeah. So Michael and I, we put about $10,000 in these bayonets. <laughs> And we, we dared the guy, we said, if you move, you can have it. And so he took it off the main, <laughs> they're not supposed to move. And he took the $10,000 and we gave it to him. True story. <laughs> wow. And my, so Michael Jackson was running around with you openly. Oh, yeah, yeah. How the hell did that never come out? Isn't that weird? I don't know, but there's, there's uh, pictures, there's photographs. Oh, I'll tell you a funny story. We were at Lord Montague, the Queen's uh, uh, cousin. We were having luncheon over there. Right. And uh, one of his girlfriends, or something. Lord Montagues. Montagues, yeah. yeah, says, hey, do you and Michael fuck? <laughs> what, and what'd you answer? Michael just busted up. <laughs> we didn't say anything, but Michael just... But you fucked him in the ass, yeah. right, Michael? No, 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 I never did. Why? I think that's well, one of the reasons... Well, because I was young, I was very reserved that way. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm alive today. So you guys, yeah, I know. Uh, you think Wait, well, what did you do sexually with Michael? Blowjobs. Just blow. That's, that's it. That's it. Nothing. Not did he do fun. you? Yeah. Oh. And you said he was bad at blowing too, right? Like Liberace. <laughs> now they couldn't deep throat. <laughs> huh? Could no. Michael deep throat? No. He couldn't. No. <laughs> Didn't even make an attempt. No. Nobody sucks my cock unless they can deep throat now. Oh. Is that right? Well, good yeah. for you. That's my rule, too. <laughs> I and love it deep, baby. Yeah, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. That's your thing. <laughs> and what, and, and, and so, so it, it seems to me like a boring sort of no, a do-nothing sex life with Michael Jackson. Well, yeah, it was. I mean, Michael, Michael was, Michael, I mean, Michael's very shy. He's very, he's a great kid, but I mean, I was so sick of it then. That's why, you know, I mean... I, why do you, you think know. he didn't want you to put it in his backside? I mean, you know, it seems like something... Too he, big. You were too thick. Yeah. Yeah, wow. well, that small little skinny ass of his. How long did it take you to work your cock into Liberace's ass? 
<laughs> Honestly, I mean, that, like he was an older guy. Well, the first time he says, I ain't used to this. I'm a little sore. <laughs> <laughs> you crippled him. I crippled him. <laughs> you could have walked for a couple of days, huh? Oh, yeah. sitting did on that to, bench was hard. Did he make you lube your cock up, or did oh, he yeah. just take it right in the ass? Yeah, he lubed it up, and then he took the amyl nitrate. <laughs> Oh, oh, he yeah. was always with the poppers, huh? I was doing the coke, he was doing the ammo, he was smoking the joints. When you bang the... an old guy in the yeah. ass, it, there's got to be a, one in the chamber, right? There's got to be some turd in there, right? <laughs> oh, no, God. there wasn't. No, no, no shit. No, well, I made him douche. Oh, you did? Yeah. You How douche. do you make a Liberace douche? You're like, hey, dude, go douche. <laughs> go douche. Well, Lee was very funny. He's a great guy. <laughs> Every morning he'd get up, right? Right. And I'd call him, you know, John Esquaga at the Nugget, we performed right. for, for many years, and you know, big Bertha would bring him out, and, and uh, every morning he'd get up and he'd, he'd fart all the way to the bathroom. I'd say, "Hey, Bertha!" <laughs> and it he'd was fart. a party, huh? Oh yeah, he was a kick in the ass. We had the best time, Howard. Yeah, you you got a boyfriend now or no? No, I don't. No, I haven't had. I, I'll, I don't think I'll ever have a lover. I'm, I've never had a lover. I mean, I've slept with people, right? But I no, I don't think so. Well, listen, it's, it's fascinating. Not, you gotta, you gotta what now? Now look for Scott Thorson's next book in uh, bookstores soon. Do you have a name yet for this? Well, book? it's either gonna be Shattering Candelabra or Beyond the Candelabra. We just signed. I'm with the biggest agent, uh, uh, Frank Wyman. Okay. And uh, it's 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 gonna be good. We hope a second book. How is prison for you, by the way? Uh, I had the oh, I had the best time in prison. Well, you know, you love prison. Well, 2008, I I signed the deal when I was in prison with with Weintraub. My, I was in court getting ready to be sentenced, and my attorney hands me a letter saying, hey, we represent a well-known producer, da 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 And I said, okay. So I called my business manager, Oliver, I says, take care of this. He says, hey, you gotta do it. So I went to prison with $55,000 in my trust account. I bought the seat. You know, the, the worst corrupt law enforcement is the Department of Corrections. The pits. So what are you saying? You bought off a lot of people. That's why you made prison comfortable. Well, I, I bought. I bought drugs. I bought cell phones. I bought tobacco. So you, so you were having a party. In yeah, and, and then I saw. Uh, you know, my. Anybody my, try to get it on with you in prison? I mean, you're no, kind of behind. No, I was. I was next to Charlie Manson. Were you? Yeah, I was a level five because I was a keep away because I'm a high profile. So you were in the cell. You could see Charlie Manson. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you talk Did you to talk him? to him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you blow him at all? No. <laughs> was Charlie up for fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would you just blow him? It would have been good for the new book. I'm going to tell you something. Boy, they got some... I had the best time because everybody was chasing me in prison. I, I had... Really, everyone I, wanted you. Yeah, everybody. So you everybody. were the hot girl in prison. I was the hot girl and all, all, <laughs> and all these studs. i gotta, I got to tell you a funny story. When I first got into trouble uh, in 87, before the Eddie Nash uh, murders and all that... Oh. They, um, I worked as the head trustee of the PPO office, prisoner personnel, and I was in charge of classifications with senior Corvarubias. And you should have seen these big gangbangers, you know, these Bloods and Crips. Well, they would go, they, they would try to get, get transferred over to HOJJ. Once they get over there, then they got to go through classifications. So you see these big butch guys, right? And then they come in there and they're saying that they're gay. So we would make them walk. <laughs> did, so why, did you have a party in prison sexually? I mean, did, did you fuck any of these uh, big guys? No, I was afraid of getting AIDS and things right. like well, that. Well, I'm saying, you know, blowjobs, nothing. No. You had no sex in prison. How do you avoid that? Because how come well, they don't like I, to sort of rape dicks. you? I, I got my cock sucked a couple times. Oh, you I, did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, good yeah. for you. Yeah, there's some hot numbers in there, boy. Yeah. Ooh. So you're yeah. saying you can have drugs, you can smoke, oh, you yeah. can do... You, Maybe you like prison because your guy, when I, when I read about your story, uh -huh. uh, you were given up for uh, to adoption at six years old by your mother. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met your real mother? No, uh, no, I wasn't given up. She was a manic depressant, and uh, we went through foster homes in right. and out. Yeah. So, so you were in so many different foster homes. Maybe you're used to sort of the institutional life in a, in a weird no, way. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm being facetious when I say that. But I did it. I mean, my first experience wasn't bad. I Most mean, people cry when they go to prison. Yeah. You know, you're well, saying, hey. He was like, yay. Yay, yeah. this is fun. <laughs> good deal. No, no, not really. Yeah. How's the food in prison? Any good? Horrible. Horrible. But you had enough connections to get some good mo oh, food. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's funny in Reno. I mean, they have Burger Barn, it's called. And you, can, you can order whatever. If you don't want to eat the, the, the jail food, you, you order Burger Barn. And then Saturday, they have movies, 
HBO movies, and then have popcorn. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Wow. So, Sounds like somebody's calling you. Uh-oh. Is, is that your phone? Oh, I Probably thought I a had lawyer. It. 